What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and the Oz Queen Britney Spears fans have officially stooped to a new low. They have now resorted to attacking Britney Spears' own kids because they are upset that Britney Spears' sons finally got the courage to speak up and say how they feel about Britney's weird ass Instagram activity. They finally got the courage to tell the world that they are embarrassed by their own mother. And not only are they embarrassed, they don't even wanna to talk to her. They don't even wanna see her. They have not seen her in months. And I would imagine that they tried to express their feelings to Britney well before they went to the tabloids, well before this interview ever happened. Not to mention that if you just have common sense, you should think about your kids when you're posting stuff like this. But I think it's obvious that Britney and the people around Britney do not care about what is going on with her kids. They don't care about how Britney's kids feel. You know, Britney Spears has been out of this conservatorship for eight months now. And during this time, she's only been naked. She's only been dancing around. She has not attempted to repair her relationship with her teenage sons. And this is downright heartbreaking to me because I lost my mother when I was 15, going on 16. I was just a week or two away from my 16th birthday when my mother passed away. I know how it feels to be that age and to not have a mother around. You know, 15 and 16, that is a very pivotal age. That's when you need the guidance of your mother more than ever. That's when you need to be able to go to your mother and talk to her about things. I know because I've been there and I didn't have the privilege, you know, of going and talking to my mom during these difficult times of my life. Yet here they are. Britney Spears is right down the street from them and they don't want anything to do with her. And it doesn't look like she's attempting to make things better. Today, she's already swaying back and forth, modeling clothes once again, she's even replaced the ugly brown heels with an even uglier pair of brown shoes. I don't know how in the world she found something uglier than the shoes she was wearing, but by God she did, and I can guarantee you all, she's gonna wear these things to death. But this is her response. The day after her kids come out and say, you know, we, we haven't even seen our, mom, our mom in months because of how she's been acting. Do you think she cares? At least it appears that she doesn't because it's the same old crap on her Instagram profile already. Imagine that. Imagine your kids telling you that they are embarrassed by you swaying side to side and getting butt naked on your Instagram profile and you do that same thing the next day. And we've already looked at Britney's reply. She didn't seem to take any accountability for her actions. Instead, she just reverted back to, oh, I've been in a conservatorship. Pity me, pity me. Listen, I feel bad for Britney. What Britney went through was horrible, but I'm not gonna sit here and cater to someone that's playing the victim nonstop. It's become obvious that Britney likes playing the victim here, okay? And in this really delicate situation, she made it all about herself once again. And here she is, swaying side to side, looking at herself in the camera when she should be worrying about her kids. So this whole time that she's been doing all of this weird stuff, we now know that she hasn't even been close to her kids. She hasn't even been seeing her kids. She is more concerned about this weird stuff on Instagram. And now, her fans are enabling her. They're telling her that she doesn't need her kids. Screw your kids. They're saying all types of horrible stuff. I just wanna give you a sample size. I don't have time to go over every single comment, but just to give you an idea of how toxic Britney, um, Britney's fans are, I just wanna show you all. Her sons should be their own people now. They are almost grown. Should a mother just cover up forever then? I am not a mother myself, but I reject the idea that mothers are not individuals. No one should tell anyone else how to live their life. You know, the key phrase or the key part of your comment is the fact that you're not a mother yourself. 
so maybe you shouldn't even say anything. I'm obviously not a mother, and I will never be a mother, despise, <laughs> despite what our government will tell you, that men can get pregnant too. I will never be a mother, but I'll be a father one day. And I wouldn't want my kids going through that embarrassment if my wife was doing stuff like that on social media, I would get her in check or I'd be out the door. There's no way in hell that I would want to subject my kids to all of this. But they're saying her, her sons should be their own people now. They're almost grown. They're 15 years old. 15 years old. And their mom's butthole is wide open on Instagram. They should be grown by now and accept it. Shut the hell up. I hate these people, man. These people are complete idiots. And it this is what I've been stressing to you all for so long. These free Britney people, they do not care about this woman at all. If they cared, they would care about the relationship that she has with her kids. But no, hey, please make Tiny Dancer. We want to hear another Tiny Dancer remix. Never mind the fact that you recorded it while your kids were refusing to talk to you. You're out here with Elton John and your kids won't even talk to you. Get your priorities in check. F Tiny Dancer. F the comeback. Worry about your damn kids. But no, she's not. It's like everything else takes priority over her own kids. And I can assume that her kids know that. And her fans are just, mm. Post whatever the F you want. Your kids have enjoyed your money. Your ex has, your parents, and siblings. Why would you stop for one of them? Why would you... <laughs> Why would you stop for your kids? Please continue to show us your butt crack. We need it. We deserve it. To hell with your own kids. These people do not care about this woman at all. Like I've been saying all along, I am so glad this happened because it's exposing more and more of these freak ass weirdos who acted like they cared about Britney and her freedom. No, they just wanted to see a show. They just wanted some more music to bop their head to. They just want to see Britney naked. They don't care for um, our kids care. Why would you stop for one of them? Uh, because it's her kids. They're way more important in her life than you are, astro goddess Fabiola. The fuck type of name is that? <laughs> your kids will be your kids whether you're a good or bad mom. <laughs> what? Did this woman just say this? What? Oh, it never, it never ceases to amaze me. When I go into the comment sections of these posts, man, these people are effing stupid. <laughs> your kids will be your kids, regardless if you're a bad mom or not. Like, what type of advice is that to give someone? Yes, Brittany, who this is like she's acknowledging that Brittany's not really being a good parent right now, right? Your kids don't care if you're good or bad. They don't care if you're a good or bad parent. They're still going to be your kids. Yeah, but damn, <laughs> what? Your kids will be your kids whether you're a good or bad mother. Showing your body does not make you a bad mother. How come? Oh my God. The audacity of this woman. I may just have to go reply to this one because God. No. How come you could deal with the press pressure so young, but your kids can't? What? So now they're like, how come you were so strong, Brittany, and you could deal with the public pressure, but your kids can't? How come they should, they should be subjected to the same amount of pressure you were subjected to? What in the world is wrong with this woman? They're all grown and should understand that the life of priv privileges they've had has a price and they're paying for it somehow. They should accept the naked pictures, but they're all grown. These people keep acting like her kids are like old and stuff. They're like in 10th grade, 11th grade. They're at like the key age where you would not want to post nudes because every one of their classmates has a phone and probably pulls it up right there in class. Hell, some of their little friends probably have to excuse themselves from class because they want to go rub one out to, one, to a picture of their mom that just gets posted. Whoa. <laughs> They're all... <laughs> I don't even want to read that part. 
whatever bullying they could receive is nothing compared to what you lived, Brittany. They are not little men. They are strong because they have a strong mother, like a mother, like son. No, you freaking psychopathic. Ugh. Oh, man, the amount of words that I have for this woman, but I'm trying not to get kicked off of YouTube. Whatever bullying they could receive is nothing compared to what you lived. So please post naked photos and make sure your kids' lives are ruined. Make sure they get bullied because no matter how much they get bullied, it's not going to be as bad as what you went through with your conservatorship. These people are insane. Please, for the love of God, if you have this type of mentality, stay far, 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 far away from me. Please, because I'm the type of person that will let you have it if you say anything like this around me. What in the... Mm, 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 mm. Let's go forward. I, I, All right. Brittany. This is a blue check mark. I don't know who this person is. He looks like he's trying to be famous, but whatever. Brittany, you deserve to be happy. The truth is that Kevin and his kids should wash their mouth to talk about you. Because as much as they think that about you, the whole world knows that you are the best mother in the world and that you faced everything for these kids. The truth is that Kevin and his kids should wash their mouths. As if Kevin's kids aren't Britney's kids as well. So now they're going so far as to just act like, oh, they're just Kevin's kids now. Because they're embarrassed by Britney. Now they're just Kevin's kids. They're not even Britney's kids anymore. The world knows that you're the best mother and you faced everything for these kids. No, the world doesn't know that. Sorry. I'm pretty sure, not trying to be mean here. Sorry, everyone. This will probably offend all of you all. Britney has not been a good mom. I haven't seen any evidence of Brittany being a good mom. Where is it? Show it to me. Show it to me. She lost custody of these kids to freaking Kevin Federline. Imagine losing custody of your kids to Kevin Federline. How? Like, what? Like, what? Really think about that. For one, I'm telling you all right now, it is extremely, almost impossible for a father to get full custody of the kids. It almost never happens. And when it does, it's because the mother is usually a freaking crazy ass Mm, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? Brittany has not been that great of a mom. I'm sorry. Do what you want. Get mad. Drop down the, ang the angry comments. Say all types of mean stuff about me. It's okay. I welcome it. Brittany hasn't been a good mom. But while you're leaving all of those mean comments down in the comment section, be sure to drop some evidence that she has been a good mom, let alone the best mother in the world that has faced everything for her kids, yet she's been out of this conservatorship for eight months and she hasn't even talked to them. Don't be sad and live your life happy your way. One day, they will pay your karma. Be well and take care. We love you. <laughs> So Britney's kids are going to suffer from karma because they're embarrassed by their mom's butthole. Woo. Let's go forward. I don't give a F if you birth them. F anyone who isn't happy for you. Give the world a big F you. You have been through God only knows with people. Enjoy life. If they come around later down their lives, welcome them with open arms and love the heck out of them. But you as a person have to heal now. You're free. Stop with this weird talk, okay? Why do some women always do this? I hate, I, I absolutely hate the, the, this is how she's processing it. The, this is her healing. There's nothing healing about posting pictures of your butthole online. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Please, for the love of all things that is holy, please stop, including holy buttholes. Please stop. You, <laughs> you have to heal. Please heal, Brittany. Heal. Post your butt on Instagram. It's healing. All right, now show us your tits. Oh, you're healing. All right, now open up your freaking legs and show us your hairy cooter. It's healing. Heal it.
<laughs> it's not healing. There's nothing healing about posting your butthole on Instagram. It is not doing anything for Britney. In fact, it's just further ruining her life. Stop with this. Oh, she's healing. There's nothing healing about posting naked photos. Listen, if you want to post naked photos, that's cool. I might even want to look at them. All right, I'll just put it out there. I don't mind seeing some naked women. Who, who does? But at the end of the day, stop saying it's healing. You know, I've had a bad day today. You know, I don't know. I've just been kind of burnt out lately, pumping out these videos every day, dealing with all of these crazy, toxic Britney fans and Ezra fans and Amber Heard fans constantly attacking me. I just really need to heal. Do y'all mind if I kind of like stop this video and just show you all my butthole real quick? Like, hold on. Um, I just, listen, guys, I need to heal. So just bear with me, literally, while I show you all my ass crack real quick. Because it's, it's really going to, trust me, guys, it's going to work wonders for me. Okay? I really need this in my life right now. So here, without further ado, here's my butthole. Like, <laughs> how stupid does that sound? Please stop, ladies, please. There's nothing healing about this. There's nothing liberating about this. She's only, the only thing that Britney has gained from doing all this on Instagram is her son's no longer wanting to talk to her and me making fun of her the whole time. That's about it. And I don't regret it. Let's go forward. <laughs> She's a free woman. Her sons need to grow up and take it. <laughs> They're too sheltered. They are almost 18. Stop with the almost 18. It's like these free Britney people, they all got their talking points. Attack Kevin Federline for getting child support. Act like this is their last ditch effort to get money. The kids are 15 and 16. Kevin Federline is going to be getting child support for a few more years. It's not like it's on its last couple of months like they want you all to believe. These kids are not 18 yet. And even if they were 18, do you think that automatically makes it okay? It's like, everybody, everybody, just wait for your 18th birthday. Because when you turn 18, your mom automatically gets to post naked pictures on Instagram. And you can't say anything about it because you're 18. The kids are almost 18. Surely they'll love their naked mom's photos by then. Shut up. Please shut up. <laughs> None of these people have any common sense. It amazes me every day that some of these people actually have platforms. People actually listen to these people's opinions. If, oh, I don't know. Listen, I'm not trying to crap on anybody, but if you are watching people who have this mentality, then they're never going to lead you down a good path and they're never going to be truthful about the news. Okay, how can you trust anyone to tell you the factual information about anything when this is the mentality they have? These yes queen Britney weirdos need to be stopped, period. <laughs> Her sons need to grow up and take it. They're too sheltered. They are almost 18. Britney is not going to be told how to dress and what to post on IG by her just about adult sons. They seem like brats. And she should remove them from her will. They turned out just like their cheating father. Whoa. Now this is just a, a snack size sample. I literally just read like three or four comments. This is nothing compared to what's probably under this post. But I don't even want to go any further because it's getting my blood boiling. Usually I don't get pissed off about things, but this is kind of irking my nerves. And I'm not even exaggerating for YouTube. This is kind of irking my nerves, the mentality of these people. The, the, the audacity to say things like this. You should remove your sons from your will. Oh, they're, they're just about grown. They'll be 18 soon and there's nothing they can do about you. Please post more naked photos, Brittany. Psychopaths. Straight up psychopaths. And it's getting exposed. It's like I was going to leave this story alone. But I'm glad I stuck around for a little while. Because now it's paying off. Now I'm getting to see all of these people who pretended to care about this woman. All of these same people who started clutching their pearls when I came on the scene and started calling out her weird behavior. Now, they, now their true colors are showing. 
They're showing their hand that they don't care about Britney as a person, as an individual. They don't care about her mental health. They don't care about the relationship that she has with her kids. Nothing. They only care about Yas Queen, do this and spin and show us outfits. It's complete garbage, complete garbage. And I'm telling you all right now, this little thing that's going on between Britney and her kids, I'm telling you all, Britney's on a slippery slope. I know, I would hope that this is affecting her, but I'm not so sure because she seems really narcissistic and she seems like she doesn't care. And I don't want to believe that Britney doesn't care about her kids, but I do believe that they aren't her number one priority because if they were, she wouldn't be doing this anymore. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hopefully Britney doesn't stop, snap and just go off the deep end because her kids have now cut her off. But I think that may happen soon. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. If you stuck around to the end of this video, let me know down in the comments below. I'm trying to see who my real subscribers are, who my real supporters are. So if you're here at the end of the video, let me know down in the comments below. But as always, I'll talk to you all in the next one.